Masking Guidelines for Children COVID concerns have been mostly focused on adults. Is this changing? This pandemic began with the myth that children were spared. And though we have known for a long time that children are at risk, that early belief seems to have colored a lot of what we do, a lot of our policy. And finally, children and the coronavirus are starting to get the attention that is necessary that can hopefully help to keep them safe. Is the increased attention on kids because they have become a larger share of the unvaccinated? The Delta variant seems to be both more transmissible and more serious. And we're seeing more sick kids needing medical care. As we have heard, this is becoming a pandemic of the unvaccinated. What I hear and think of with that statement is that it is becoming more and more a pandemic of children who are not yet able to be vaccinated. What is the vaccine timeline for kids under 12? I'm hopeful that we're going to have vaccine results and hopefully approval in the early fall. For children younger than five, it's likely going to be somewhat longer. And I think this is a real concern. Children three and four years old and younger are in preschool. Um, They're interacting regularly with school children who are older siblings. And I think this is really a, a, needs to be a priority. What about masks after vaccination? I've been asked whether children should continue to wear masks when vaccinated. Not only is the answer yes, but so should adults. How about going to an indoor public space as a family when the youngest members are not yet vaccinated? I recommend that when families go to indoor spaces with many people, such as a box store or a mall, that everyone should be wearing a mask and they should limit their time there. What should our considerations be with back to school? Back to school is important and creates risks. The opportunity for school being a super spreading event exists and vaccination can be very helpful to reduce the likelihood that we see a lot of very sick children or even sick adults. One way to mitigate the risk is through everyone in school wearing masks, as some governors and municipalities have recognized. Everyone in the school needs to be masked. We are social beings as our children, and we need to incorporate both that and recognition that sports activities can spread the virus, and therefore masks need to be a part of planning for sports and other athletic activities. Parents need to remember that coronavirus is still around, that it can harm children, and that masking and social distancing is critical for the children and for the adults who are around them.